What's going on, YouTube? Happy Friday. <clears throat> Happy Memorial Day weekend to all the vets out there, by the way. I'm going to get right into this video. And this example, which is a real-life example, it's a conversation that I had last night with another fellow business guy. And use this example. And this can show you exactly why a lot of businesses go under. So, for those of you who have been following me know I just opened a hot dog business. And I'm sitting there selling last night. And a guy who has been buying from me in a day at my car during lunchtime said, Hey man, I'm getting a food truck. You know, I, I bought a vehicle, you know, uh, in this place, whatever. I'm doing it up. I'm painting it. I'm, I'm, I'm using chalkboard paint. The chalkboard paint's going to be in there. I'm putting this killer radio system in this thing. Man, this thing is going to be epic. And I'm listening. And I say, man, this guy has passion. Passion. Right? Then, you know, he comes up to me last night. We saw each other. We, we showed up right around the same time. Fifth, his truck cost $50,000, by the way. But let me back up and let me tell you about how did he obtain that $50,000? He worked for some other guys who had a food truck. He was a cook. This guy is culinary arts. This guy is a cook. When he talks to you, you know, he, this is what he says when he cooks. Like, for instance, last night he was like, man, I would, I knead the dough. I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I make everything fresh. I go down to the farmer's market. I get these vegetables and all these other kind of things. And what I'm thinking in my head is, wow, this guy puts a lot of time and effort and preparation into making these things, right? And last night, his menu was curry, something curry with goat cheese and blah, 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 blah. Got all that. So, he tells me that the food truck that he was, was working for, the guy would go make money and he would go to the bar and he would run up the tab uh, to the point where he, he, they would make, I don't know how much they would make exactly, but they would make a lot of money. And the guy just kept going to the bar. He kept gambling. Uh, they gave him a couple checks, both bounced, right? And he said, you know what? I got to do my own thing. So he didn't have money. So investors invested $50,000 for this guy to go out and buy a truck. And he said, man, you know what? There should be trucks all down this street. You know, that should be this truck. That should be a barbecue truck. That should be a pizza truck. All these things, right? Now, keep in mind, he's sitting there talking to me in front of my hot dog cart that I paid $2,000 for. $50,000, $2,000. $50,000, a guy that wakes up early in the morning make this dough to make all these things and when selling time came who do you think had the most customers the fifty thousand dollar business or the two thousand dollar business i can get the answer to that right now i had the most customers i didn't wake up at four o'clock in the morning i didn't make my own dough i had hot dogs Sodas and potato chips. Simple meal. Now, let me tell you what's wrong with that situation if you haven't figured it out right now. Here's a guy that had a lot of passion, no business sense, gets $50,000 from guys who probably don't know much about business because who in their right mind would invest, invest $50,000 in a food truck like that? Sounds good, but it's not it's not proven yet. Fifty thousand dollars. This guy quits his job, right? Quits his job. And last night, this is what his activity. He would work in his truck. He would walk in the area where I'm at. Hey, how's it going over here? Well, you making some sales? I say, ah, it's whatever. Cause in my business, I don't need the money. I put it in savings. What I make is what I make. I'm not stressing over here. I'm not, oh my gosh, I got to make this. I'm not stopping customers. They come, they want, they get it. They, they don't, they don't. I'm friendly. I speak. I say whatever. If you don't want to get it now, next time. 
Why? Because I don't have a $50,000 debt in my business. I don't have to sell a plate to eat. You see where I'm going? And here's the biggest lesson. He didn't study the market. This market here are plain farm Midwestern people. Steak, potatoes, and chicken. <laughs> it's what these, these, some of these guys don't even know what curry is. And a lot of people here, is a more sheltered environment, don't want to try new things. But in his mind, I came from Long Beach. I got this. I got that. Everything's got to be this way. Yeah, for you. But everybody here is not that way. So he's going back and forth, going back and forth, asking questions. How's it going? Back and forth. And then when I pack up at that night, he packs up that night. And I, from what I saw, whatever, the guy maybe had five customers. $50,000 loan. Five customers. Quit his job. Now, what do you... <laughs> I'm not much of a uh, predictor on anything. But I can predict right now... That business probably won't last long. And that guy will turn into a guy will say, you know what? I tried that food truck deal. You may not want to try that. It didn't work for me. And he may end up being a chef at a restaurant and probably working there for the rest of his life because he didn't approach business the correct way. He started here instead of here. That's the lesson for today. I want to see what you guys conclude from this. So what do you guys think about that? How would you have done it? So, thank you guys for watching the channel. Please subscribe. And until next time, signing off.